Snake River Roasting Company. Today, let's talk about cleaning your espresso machine. It's super important to keep your machine clean, to keep it running well, and to make sure you're serving the very best drinks. And here are the tools we need to start. A stainless steel one quarter or one eighth pan, espresso cleaning powder, a blind insert, also called a back flush insert or a blank insert, a palo tool with a brush, needle, and measuring spoon, a steam wand brush, a group head brush, and a stubby screwdriver. Your maintenance during the day is pretty simple. Always purge your steam wand before using, purge and wipe immediately after steaming milk. Milk can actually crawl back to the boiler if you don't purge, and goudon milk on the steam wand is just disgusting. Wipe your portafilter basket before and after each use and run a bit of water through your group head to remove debris. Every few hours do a quick water back flush by exchanging your portafilter basket for a blind insert. Run water on and off in 5 to 10 second intervals. On 5 to 10 seconds, off 5 to 10 seconds. Do that five times to remove debris that's accumulated on your group head screen. That will keep your screen clean and your espresso shots won't be flavored with old coffee. Your nightly cleaning should take less than five minutes once you develop a routine. It starts with a chemical back flush. Measure one scoop of espresso cleaner into your blind insert. Run five to 10 second on and off intervals five times. Dump the chemical, run some water, and then do a water back flush five to ten seconds on, five to ten seconds off, five times to clean the chemicals out of the tubes. Prepare a tub of hot water and chemical cleaner. Put your portafilter baskets, portafilters, and your steam tip into the water to soak. The plastic portafilter handles will get damaged by the chemicals, so be sure to keep them out of the water. Use the Palo Tool brush to clean your group head screen, and use the group head brush to clean around the edges of the screen. About once a week, remove and clean the shower screens on the group head. Some machines have a shower that screws into the group head. Some machines have more of a cup that pops in and out of place. You actually have to remove the gasket to remove the, these E61 screens, so be sure to have extra gaskets on hand before removing the screens in case one breaks during the process. Here's a screen that hasn't been cleaned in a while. Imagine every shot you pour being filtered through dirty old coffee grounds. The steam wand brush goes as far as you can into the steam wand. Carefully purge water after cleaning to flush any debris. Use the needle at the end of the palo tool to clear the holes in the steam tip. Rinse it with clear water and replace. Scrub the portafilter of all residue and rinse with clear water. Same with the brew basket and replace, and keep the portafilters in the group head. Clean the drain trays nightly. The remnants from the back flushing will help to keep your drain hose clean, but you do need to remove and clean that regularly. And the group head gaskets should be changed every three to six months on a commercial machine. It's very important at the beginning of the next shift to run water through the hot water dispenser and to run a shot of espresso through each group head. It's often referred to as seasoning the machine, but it removes leftover chemicals and any water that's been standing dormant overnight. It also helps you set the fineness of the grind for the start of the day. A clean machine sets you up for perfect espresso from Snake River Roasting Company.